So, hi Altrincham, how are you doing? Welcome to a Sunday Live. This will likely be a somewhat shorter than usual live tonight. Uh, as you probably know, Chris and Joe are away on the jollies at the moment, uh, down there in Cornwall, having a great time. Did you catch Chris's video last night? He did a couple of videos from a pub called the Haunted Pub, I believe it's called, because Every Halloween this place gets decked out in fact it looked pretty good the Halloween stuff up there and Chris seems to be having a good time so let me turn this down as usual it's catching out. Uh, hi Jack looking forward to the show. Well as I've just said mate it's likely to be a little bit short tonight. The reason why I'm late is just before 8 o'clock who gets on my phone but none other than Chris. Um, we may be trying something with Chris a little later on, but let's just hang on with that for now. So, I do have a few things here I'd like to say tonight, but I am going to be shorter than usual on a Sunday. Thank you those who have uh, joined us. Nice pint, of, nice pint of beer, Jack. I've been accused of having uh, something in my cup here in the past, but uh, no, I'm not a great drinker at the moment, Jack, but I'm partial to a copper burg or two, if anybody wants to send a crate over, that's absolutely fine by me. Okay, so let's just crack on here. Um, first of all, we have a competition going at the moment on the page to win a couple of tickets down to the Liverpool Empire to see War Horse. Uh, that will be on the 15th of November and the details on how to enter the competition are pinned up at the top of the page there on a post. The competition closes this Wednesday, the 1st of November, so if you want to be in with a chance of winning those tickets to the Liverpool Empire, unfortunately we can't get you down there, you have to be able to make your own way down to Liverpool if... Um, if you want to go and see War Horse. So, 6 o'clock on Wednesday is when that competition closes. And later on the same night, I will be here with our new girl Kate. She'll be here with me on Wednesday. And we'll be doing a live draw. We'll be picking the winner's name out for those two tickets to go and see War Horse. So, if you've not entered yet, it's quite straightforward. As I say, all the details are up there on the top of the page. Have a quick look. Um, you never know your luck. You might be able to make uh, a lad's night out or a girl's night out over it. So, what else has been... Uh, what else has been going on? Right, Gavin, God, I'd love to see Warhorse. It's up there. Get your name in there. It's a draw. Uh, it's just a look at the draw. We'll be drawing it Wednesday. Uh, also on the page, this morning, uh, I posted a little story, uh, apologies Dan Jones, I posted a picture and story about some graffiti in Altringham. Uh, I know a couple of weeks ago there was a problem around the market area with a particular person in particular, <laughs> who had a very distinctive tag. Uh, I don't know what's happened with that guy, but... Uh, this seems to have opened a bit of a can of worms on the page this morning. A very popular post that was uh, about the vegan graffiti. Uh, I did notice there was somebody on the page saying that, well, do you know what? All these multinational corporations, they can advertise on big billboards. Um, yeah, it does get a little bit much now and again, I suppose. You see some billboards in places where it isn't really appropriate. But I don't think that justifies the graffiti. And some graffiti art, that's different. Uh, some walls can be done up with graffiti um, and they look pretty, pretty nice, some of them, but just random graffiti on the walls like that. Somebody's got to clean it up and it comes out of our money, doesn't it? Our council tax and rates and things. So I don't think that is the way to go, guys. So. That created a bit, of a, a bit of a buzz this morning on the page. Uh, if you'd like to give us a quick call tonight in the short time that I'm here, you can do. The number is 07874 055611 if you'd like to comment on anything I'm talking about here tonight. 
What I will also talk about is you probably saw on the page and you probably heard us talk in the past about Altrincham in Bloom. Uh, we actually take part in the Altrincham in Bloom committee and we're so proud with what they achieved on Friday. Uh, some representatives of Altrincham in Bloom were down in Lamb Goodno. Uh, Altrincham was entered for the very first time, the only place in Trafford that's ever been entered towards the finals of Royal Horticultural Society Britain in Bloom. And we were nominated, we worked hard, and Altrincham in Bloom went there, had a go at this competition, and we came out with silver out of the whole of the UK. Now, Altrincham, that's fantastic. Altrincham in Bloom do fantastic work for your town. It'd be great if you could help these guys. Uh, they're always, always looking for volunteers. I know there's a couple of events coming up over the next few weeks for Altrincham in Bloom. They're organising a bit of a tidy up over near the Sainsbury's area. Uh, the last little pick of the year has already gone. But there are other ways that you can help out Altrincham in Bloom. And if you'd like to donate some time to them, then I'm sure they'd appreciate that. You can contact them via our Altrincham. Uh, if you email Sarah W at rltringham.org, I'm sure they'd be more than pleased to hear from you. So, volunteers, if you're a bit green fingered or anything, any skills that you've got, uh, as Altringham in Bloom expands, I suppose any skill that you've got could be useful, whether it be clerical, hands on gardening, or whatever. Get in touch with Sarah, get in touch with our Altrincham, or get in touch with Altrincham in Bloom, and see if you can help them out, because they're doing a fantastic job. Hi Rita, thanks for being there. Uh, I'm not going to be here too long uh, tonight, Rita. So, going back to Altrincham in Bloom and this silver award, uh, fantastic stuff there, considering it was the first time they were nominated, and they came second in the whole of the UK. Great stuff. Uh, they're also entered for the regional awards. And it would be lovely to see a gold in those regional awards as well. Because so far, Altrincham in Bloom have achieved the gold award in 2014, 2015 and 2016. Three consecutive years, Altrincham in Bloom have bagged the regional gold. And it would be great to see them get a fourth consecutive gold. To go alongside the silver they achieved on Friday in the trophy cabinet, then again, I'm, I'm sure Sarah will be really, really pleased to see that happen. All this only happens with the support of the community, and that means you. You can see the work Altrincham and Bloom do in the town centre. Uh, you can have a look on the Facebook, they have a new website that's just gone live, which I should have written the exact address down for. Um, I'm not even going to try and remember it, and I think I know what it is, but I don't want to put the wrong address out there. It's on the page with the post we did this weekend relating to the awards ceremony. So, that is about it tonight, guys, because everybody's on holiday, I'm on my own. We're also carrying out a little bit of work to the studio over this weekend, and things are a little bit up and down. I know you can't tell this end, but if you could see it, that end of the studio, it's like, oh, oh what's going on? So, we're going to finish off uh, what we're doing in the studio, and we'll be back with a live stream, of course, on Wednesday, Kate and myself. Please don't forget, the competition that's pinned to the top of the page, we're doing the live draw for that on Wednesday. You could be in with a chance of winning two tickets to the Liverpool Empire to, to see War Horse. But you have to be able to get down there under your own, your, your own steam. So, if that's something you fancy, then why not give it a try? Okay, we do have a call. Hello there! In Altrincham over Halloween, you know, uh, hi there, who's that? Yeah, my name's Gavin. Oh, hi Gavin, how are you doing? Thanks for being there, Gavin. Um, well, Gavin, we, we, I think we do have some details on the page of what's going on over Halloween. Um, 
I don't have any details with me. I know on Wednesday's show, I did a live show with Kate on Wednesday. Um, I know she did have some details of what's going on in Ocean of Over Halloween on the Wednesday show. So perhaps if you scroll down the page a little bit, or admin, if you're watching, can we please get some details up on the page? Uh, Altrincham is a hotbed of parties, I'm, sh I'm sure there's plenty, of, there's always something going on in Altrincham, um, I, I think I can assure you, I'm, I'm sure they've got Halloween well and truly covered. We, I will make sure we get something on the page, um, I'm just sorry that I've not got the details here with me to help you out straight away. But, The, the biggest bonfire around here, I believe, uh, the popular one is at the Bowdoin Rugby Club. I believe, I believe that's on Clay Lane in Timpley. Uh, I know that's always a popular one. There's also one that's been going for years at Kersal Rugby Club, which is just outside Timpley Village. Near Do you know, I couldn't tell you about that. I used to love going up to Elderly Edge on Halloween. What the ghost spider? Did you used to do that? Yeah, I know a lot of it was becoming dangerous, wasn't it? When I was up there, well, well over ten years ago, they were starting to uh, fence a few places off when you couldn't get up there. Well, maybe they've sorted it out since then. So, where do you think that's at? Where do you think that's at? How do you think I know the... Certainly Bonfire Night, they have a big bonfire going there. Um, Halloween... Ooh, I... I I don't think I can bring anywhere to mind immediately where there's something going on on Halloween in the town centre, but I, I'm sure there's, all you have to do is travel into the town centre because there's so much going on in Altrincham. I'm yeah. sure they're not going to overlook Halloween. Um, Andy, thank you so much. I really appreciate it and I love the show. Thank you. Alright, thanks for taking part. You're a gentleman. Speak to you again soon. Okay. Bye now. Okie dokie, thank you very much for that call. Gavin, was that Gavin? Was it Gavin? I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. Um, admin, if you're out there, perhaps if we can get a few details up on the page of any bonfire stuff that's going on. Uh, please, let's get that done. Okay, talking of admin, I was mentioning that uh, I need to not put that down and keep up on the comments here, don't I? Yes, we're, we're carrying out a bit of work in the studio, that's going to carry on after this live, so I'm going to be wrapping it up uh, in a few minutes. Um, over the next half hour, you may see Chris popping up on a live. Uh, we may be trying to... We're playing around with a, split, blah, 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 a split screen feature on the live streams. We did do it once before, it's something we're interested in doing, because it allows us to maybe do something studio based and... Oh, are on the spot reporter kind of thing. So in the next half hour you might see uh, a short live while we test that out. If we do, you'll be able to see Chris over there in over there down, down there in Cornwall. Uh, so watch out for that, that might happen. For the studio part of it, if it's split screen, then what you'll be seeing is a little bit of the behind the scenes stuff. So I think that is enough for tonight. We'll crack on with the work that we've got to do. We'll be back here on Wednesday with Kate for that live draw. It's pinned to the top of the page. Get yourselves in that competition. Closes 6 o'clock on Wednesday. Uh, you've got to be in it to win it, as somebody you may remember used to say. So, guys, thank you for joining me tonight. I will see you again on Wednesday. Uh, I hope you have a good time at your bonfire, whichever one you end up going to, and thank you for that call. We'd like to see more of that, you getting involved. These live streams we do are about what you guys want, what you want to see, what you want to hear. 
and we'll try our best to give you that. Uh, we're here to support Altrincham and we're here to support the people in it. Maybe not the trams that are just going off the past, but we're sorting that out. So, thank you again folks for being there tonight. I will see you on Wednesday with Katie right here and good luck in that draw if you took part. I'll see you folks again soon. Bye bye now.